Hey guys, in this video I'll be explaining you on how to use Solver in LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. Many of you asked me to make a video on this topic and many more are not very clear with the concept of Solver. So firstly, let's talk about the purpose of a Solver of where and why is it actually used. In general, Solver is nothing but a more elaborate form of goal C. The problem is that goal C can be used only to find one single unknown input value for a given goal or a target value. However, in the case of Solver, you can find multiple unknown values for the given goal or target value. For understanding Solver in a more detailed manner, let's take a simple example. Let's say that an employee working in an office wants to get 50,000 in 5 months. So his goal or his target value would be 50,000. In this case, the input values are nothing but the amount of money he gets in each month to attain his goal. In a simple situation like this, we can directly say that each month he would require about 10,000 to attain his goal. Solver is exactly used for this purpose, to find out the input values. Now this was a very simple example, but there are much more complex examples which cannot simply be done through mind calculation. And in those cases, you can use a solver. Now we know where and why we use a solver. But the next question that arises into the mind is how to use a solver. For this, we'll be using the question that is mentioned here to find out the various input values by using the solver. Click on the LibreOffice icon that is present in the desktop and then choose Calc Spreadsheet. Here, enter the data as instructed. According to the question, a student is planning for her goals to attain certain amount of marks in her semester 4 examination to achieve distinction or 75% in that semester. Now assuming that the examination for each subject is out of 100 marks, we need to use Solver to find out the marks that she needs to obtain in order to get a distinction or a 75%. Now for this, add one more column called semester 4. Now we need to find the percentage of all the 4 semesters. Before we find the percentage, let's also find the total to make it easier. Now you can use the sum function to calculate the total marks. Type equal to sum and with the curve brackets include the ranges. Close the bracket and click on OK. Now you can use the order sum feature to find the total marks for all the other semesters. Create one more column just like the way you created total marks for calculating the percentage. The formula for percentage is the amount of marks that she has obtained divided by the total amount of marks into 100. So type equal to and then specify the marks that she had got that is F3 divided by the total marks. Now each subject is out of 100 marks so 4 subjects means 400 marks in total. Now put this within curved brackets. And then multiply the whole thing, that is asterisk into 100. Now you'll get the percentage of that particular semester. Now again, use the autosum feature to find the percentage of all the four semesters. Now to use Solver, select that particular cell where you want to find your value. Here we want to find the percentage of semester 4, which is 75%. So I kept that cell active. Then go to Tools and click on Solver. Now a Solver dialog box appears. Since we kept G16 as our active cell, it automatically gets registered in the target section. Now click on the value of section and enter the percentage marks that you require. Here in my case it's 75%. In the next section you need to mention the range of cells that have to be changed. In our case it's subject 1, subject 2, subject 3 and subject 4. In the last section specify any of the limitation conditions if necessary. So in our case we know that each subject is less than 100 marks. So we need to specify those limitation conditions. For this select that particular cell, select the required operation and then type in the value. For us, the value that is entered in B6 should be less than 100. Now do the same thing for all the other subjects. After specifying the necessary limitation conditions, you can go ahead and click on solve. It might take a little while in starting to solve it out. If you are not satisfied with the results, then click on continue and keep solving. In case if you are satisfied with the results, you can click on OK and then select keep results. So in this manner, you can use Solver to find multiple input values for a given target set. So now we know where and why we use a Solver and we've also learned in detail of how to use a Solver in LibreOffice Calc. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.